All right, hello, and welcome back to the Bench Boys Podcast. This week, we're here to talk to you about Danish TV series, The Chestnut Man, or just Chestnut Man. I can't remember which one because I don't have a good memory. But before we get into Chestnut Man, we must introduce ourselves. And with you today, my name is Enrique. My name is Eli. And my name is Tristan. Guys, so we watched this. This was definitely... Yeah. Something different for us. We usually have been doing a lot of bullshit lately, a lot of bad shit, a lot of uh, popular shit. Yep. We haven't really been going into our deep cuts as much lately like we used to, you know? And I'm kind of happy we did go into the deep cuts because I actually really like this show. But yeah, I always like Slow Burn. I mean, it was also a mini series, which we don't get enough of. Was um, it? Uh, okay, it's six hours, so I guess not. No, was it? But... <laughs> did you watch all the way to the end yes i did i know i i hope it's a mini series because i don't i don't know i don't need more to that story if I'm i need a little bit more because they they cock tease me with a little bit of that I mean, <laughs> yes they did but i never really like i don't know i didn't care about that character i'm not gonna you know spoil until we get there but well i'm gonna uppercut you then <laughs> <laughs> okay try some thoughts before we uh, get into this craziness <laughs> No, dude, I was kind of happy that I didn't pick a really crappy show this time because I feel like I've had a pretty rough string of luck with some of the shows. Um, yeah. So to come out with one that I thought was pretty good overall, um, not quite on the on the vein of our all timers, but still pretty good in my opinion. I was quite quite happy with with that. So let me just preface this real quick. Uh. For those who want to know, I watched the dub because I am a lazy bastard and did not feel like reading six hours worth of subtitles. It's okay, I did too. And I read the subtitles at the same time. I did the sub because I did. Yes. Not as good as the dark sub. Or dub, I mean. Not as good uh, as the dark dub. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I thought the dark dub sucked. Isn't that what you See, guys said? Okay. The dark it dub depended. Uh, it was okay. There was times where it was good, good and times where it wasn't. Let's just put it like this, right? I don't know what it is, but live action dubs are never good for some reason. It's just because the anime mouths dubs don't. are always solid. Well, because the mouths don't sync up. And, I, okay, the sound is weird too, I feel like. But for me personally, that's why I turn the subtitles on, on the dub, is because that way I'm paying attention to the subtitles anyway, but hearing the English, and I don't have to look at mouths. Because okay. I feel like with Dark, it took away a little bit when I was listening in English and they're obviously not talking in English. Um, so I don't know. It was just a little bit different. And this one actually, that, uh, sorry, that, getting back to my point, that's why I didn't like the dark dub is because the subtitles were different than the actual uh, script that they had for the English dub. Oh. Whereas the, yeah. Whereas this one was the exact same. So I was able to just read it as it was happening. I was like, cool, whatever. Uh, okay. There's two that's, settings that's on Netflix. I think one's CC and then one's like English. So they have div two different subtitles depending on what you're watching. So if you're watching the sub, you can get the actual like translation. And if you're watching the English, you can get what they're actually saying subtitles. I noticed yeah. that when I was switching options. Okay. I wasn't sure if Dark had that or not. I mean, it was a little bit ago, obviously. obviously but yeah, I know it says like English original or whatever. So Yeah. My main issue with this dub was that sometimes I felt like the emotions just didn't come across properly. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on lip flaps. Like I'm not like, oh, they don't match up kind of thing. I don't really get irritated with that just from years of, you know, anime bullshit where I can catch them not matching up properly. But my issue was more emotions. I'd rather have you give me a good you know, acting versus that if it's what it comes down to, if I need one or the other. And I felt like they didn't give me good moments sometimes. I feel like there were some actors who did great and then there were some who did mid. Yeah, I agree. And you're just that. talking about with the voices, right? Yes. Okay, that's understandable. So, uh, plot-wise, I will say that I did not get fully invested into this until about episode three, three or four. End of three. Well, Interesting. Yeah. mid three, yeah, I'd agree with you. Because the first episode starts, and I just don't know what the fuck's going on. They throw you so yeah. deep into the deep pool. I don't know yeah. anyone's name. I barely know people's names still. I, I, yeah, I looked it up right. and wrote them down so I remember. And they kind of don't give you the clues you need to solve the mystery until a little bit later. So I was kind of upset that I didn't get any clues early. That's yeah. me. 
uh, you know, I feel like a, that what that's what makes a good mystery is giving you clues right off the bat that you might not necessarily like come back to for a little bit. Um, but I mean, there could be those, and I just didn't catch them. But yeah, I, I do agree with you there. There was a few that came in pretty early, but not super duper like episode one ish. Right. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, they gave away that the girl was alive, like right in the beginning, with her being in the chestnuts. If you guys remember that yeah, scene yeah. that opens I, the yeah. show. Hundred percent. Mm. So like the whole time I knew that she was alive and then her parents didn't. And I was like, she's fine, man. You just gotta go get her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't know, no, but I was like, yeah, she, she alive. That's that's how I felt about it the whole time. Why do these European shows always open with sex? That's exactly. <laughs> that's how a dark great question. Too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Dark it's... happened with the with uh Hannah getting beat down by uh yeah. whoever that was the cheater boy Ulrich, Ulrich. yeah Ulrich yeah. And then this one opens with Naya getting beaten down by, uh, fuck, I forgot homie's name, but I don't know. That Sven. Dude. We'll just call him Sven. We'll call him Finn Wolfhard. And, oh, okay. Yeah, so there was just a whole thing with that, and they were fucking, that plotline was trash and worse. That was terrible. That yeah, was the worst part. I would agree. It just didn't matter. Like, that's why it's bad, because it just didn't matter the whole show. Yeah, I mean, they could have at least tied it into something, but it tied into nothing. Yes. In my search for a person to claim that was the killer in the first episode, I pointed to Grandpa. Now, you may ask me, why did I pick Grandpa? Because he seemed a little too old and a little too knowledgeable. You know what ah, I mean? That's fair. No, I, I felt no, like No, I, I know like, exactly what you mean. He, he was pretty chill, too. I don't know. He was very unsuspecting. So Those I are could red see flags that. for me. I yeah. Think. Oh, uh, in any mystery, I, I definitely think so. The unexpected is the most expected. And I'm, point, exactly. I'm pointing shit out to everyone. Episode two is where I kind of got an inkling of who it could be. Because okay. my man Hess kept bringing up shit. And Forensics yes. Dude kept fucking shooting it down every single time and i like at first i was just like okay well they're just trying to keep it whatever whatever you know because even the chief was doing it mm-hmm. but after a while i was like okay that's a little too much he's he's do he's being weird right so they're talking about how the pig and then murdered in the body and they burnt it to a cramps and yeah. then mm-hmm. you know all that happened and i was like all right she's alive for sure now and then i saw that they took off both the chick's hands when they killed her i'm like oh my god he's making stick figures whatever mm-hmm. oh, I was yeah, just shook. Yeah. and i was like i kind of piece it i i pieced it together before the detectives i was like oh he's gonna keep cupping or cutting him off till he gets the four you know oh, what yeah. I mean? and but oh, yeah. they were like they took it was like oh my god i get it now i was like come on guys come on <laughs> i knew this since you know beginning of the episode come on yes once uh, the second one got killed then i then i knew it but with just the first one the hand cut off it was like okay what is this mean? i mean yeah they were playing hangman <laughs> My, my well, Indian brother okay, appeared. But... <laughs> the Damn, Indian homie tough. appeared, and I thought he was getting accused. I thought they were going to do some yeah. racial profiling and just take him down. <laughs> I could see it. I was he was being a little I... sus, man. He kept walking up in homie's house. Like, what are you doing? I suspected Hess for the longest time, dude. He was I'm one of my honest. first guesses, too. Yeah, yeah it would have. Until... Just... Mm. I don't know. Until I think what happened at the end of episode two, where he gets trapped and beat up by that one guy. Yes. Until that, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, man, I really thought that. Shout out to Timo and Lee Sin Toys that were in the background of that kid's house. Wait, what? Did y'all really? see that? In I episode not. two, when they were panning over the kid's toys, he had a Timo action figure and a Lee Sin action figure. <laughs> did he actually? That's awesome. Yeah, he did. So that was kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. That's silly of me. So let me tell you where I got into this show. Okay. okay. I want to hear it. I wasn't attached to any other characters that were killed, right? No. Episode three, no. we get introduced to this mom, right? Mm-hmm. She seems like a younger mom because she looks very young. Her kid has to be like five or six because she's in like dance recitals and shit. And she got reported to the Federales for being a bad parent. But they said, whatever, whatever, you're good. Out of everyone that got accused so far of being a bad parent, the mom, I get it, right? Like she let the dad beat the fuck up the kids and all that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the first one absolutely deserved it she fucking let the the father stepfather molest the kids and fucking do all that right cool this one i felt like was unjust and unjustified right this is where i was like okay the killer's on some bullshit like 
she all she did really was fuck around and like you know cheat on people or whatever or fuck people's wives or husbands or whatever but like i don't think that's nothing to be killed over being a bad parent like that man yeah i think it was no, the alcoholism it, the and the stuff I mean, that related even, to that too even so like yes those are very bad things like we're not you know i'm the last one to justify that but at the same time, those are legal activities that you can do, like beating your kids, molesting them. Like, that's not like, I don't know. Two different, different level playing fields. Yeah, exactly. Right? And so we see her I'm pretty sure it's just like from the context clues I picked up in the episode, she was just looking for love and like affection from people and no matter how she got it. And so people would just use her like the Asian dude did. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah that's uh, to the most extreme yeah because he literally like made out he fucked her kissed her and then slapped the shit out of her and shoved her and said get the fuck away from me stop making me do this which Dude, that that is insane that is psychopath i don't dude think was on some wild she was behavior. making you do that my man no <laughs> can't believe you made me do that <laughs> my dude, i think you could have said me. nah i'm cool <laughs> yeah what the fuck yes that's crazy bro and so they figure out, hey, man, this is the next target. So they try to save her. They put her up in the office. And this is when I started checking boxes on what criteria the killer has to meet. This is when I knew he was a cop was okay. when this shit happened. Because they put her up oh. in the house. And then she ends up still getting killed because she gets raped. Because they knew. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, they found out about the plan. And they raided her fucking crib where they're at. Beat up yeah. the one bodyguard they had. Oh, I, yeah. Dog shit. Worth yeah. his ass bodyguard. And then they get her, and they killed her, and they chopped her shit up, and they took her eyes out. And I think that one, I was like, wow, like, I really want this motherfucker to get got now. Yeah, now that one was kind of fucked up. Because I think at first, I was like, he's like, the dude was saying fuck the, like, uh, kids, child protective services and social services. And I'm like, no, he's right, though. Like, he's on some, you know, he's kind of (laughs) spitting what he's doing so far. (laughs) No, yeah. And then it kind of went too far with this one and then i was like all right i'm not happy with this <laughs> yeah no he was i mean obviously deranged but well yeah and this is where things got interested hess okay. is the best detective in the show oh I, hands oh, down yeah, for sure yeah. naya is a terrible cop yeah well yeah that's why she <laughs> changed <the> jobs <laughs> you know how many times naya fucked up throughout this oh series? plenty a good bro. amount she fucked up the first time when Hess was underground by not yeah. just capping that dude. I know, dude. Letting him run. This is a classic for Naya. She loves not shooting people. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Yeah. And See. I was just like, Naya, what are you doing, man? I, I, I never freeze. Dude, she was freezing everywhere. <laughs> she, was, she was frozen. One, two, and <laughs> now three. What? Yeah, man. And so that all happens. And then we get Hess and them. Hess, Hess was really just clutch as fuck. He was like, let's do this, let's do that. She's like, no, no, don't do that. He's like, no, let's do it. They press the dude who got you know, charged for the killings. They press mm-hmm. him and say, bitch, we know you didn't do it. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> With the machete. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Where is the killer? Where are the kids at? He's like, ah. I'm like, dude, <laughs> let him be his ass. Like, come on now. Yeah, honestly. The police don't work like this, dude. If it was real life, he would have beat the shit out of him, got the information he needed, and no charge would have been pressed. Yeah, that's, that's 100% it. true. And so Especially once in that a happened, mental facility like that. Hey, man, you said it, not me. But once they got the pressing that they needed, then they go back to the forensics dude, and they were like, well, the machete, da 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 And he was like, he was like, no, 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 it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. Yeah, I was like, that's, it's you, that's it's you. I, dude, that's when I started getting really, uh, I don't know, really sus about it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust this dude. Plus the twin <laughs> flashback with the the flashback, I already I pieced that together so fast. Oh, I was dude, like, that was yeah. that's the prime minister chick. That that well, one yeah. of the twins is in on it, yeah. and then the, oh, yeah. the other ones in on it. Now, mind you, sure. the first time I watched that, I thought there were two boy twins. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know it was oh, a boy yeah. and a girl, so I thought yeah. two guys were in on it. I thought it was a forensics dude and someone else, and the, well, I was not right, but I was close. <laughs> no, I knew it was one of the twins. I didn't know who the twin was, but I you know I obviously assumed it was forensics dude. Um, I don't know. I didn't piece it together like completely until a little bit later, though. Now, Same. mind you, I talked to Tristan after just having like watched half of episode four, and I told him what I thought, and mm-hmm. I was fucking right. <laughs> like, oh, nice. Yeah, because I was like, I, think I wasn't going to spoil it though. 
yeah, of course not. I was like, but I felt it was the forensics guy. And it was just like, once I realized that, every time I saw him, he's a little too sus. The big yeah. tip off for me was the way he acted with the kids, man. Oh, when, when he yeah, went and hung out right. with our daughter, he's a yeah. little too this good is, with kids. This is Simon. Yeah, he was really good with the kids. I forgot about that, actually. Yeah, he was talking about uh, how Halloween. the monster's going to get him or whatever. Yeah. And he chased him off, and she's just over there laughing. Like, yeah, he was really good with kids that he didn't even know. Yep. And so, you hmm. know, the show had been targeting bad mothers or whatever, whatever. So at that point, I knew that Naya was going to get on the list just because of the turmoil with her daughter yep. and stuff. Yep. Yep. So I was like, oh, she's going to be on the list. So she's going to be like one of the final ones. So she's going to get got. And I was right because episode five happens. We start getting the backstory. We start understanding what happens and everything like yep. that. That's when I knew. Dude, the villain origin story was kind of fire. Yeah, no, that no, was it good. was, dude. Yeah. With he was kind of justified, oh. like. Fucking, mm-hmm. the Prime Minister chick really said that he touched her or something like that. That's fucked up. And lied. And I was like, oh, no, you deserve something to happen to you for all that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about yeah, killing your kid, but. No, but dude, yeah, definitely needs to be some kind of justice in this situation. Yeah, because that, he, he got man. fucking put into some very terrible situations just because she wanted the attention of her foster parents. Yep. Like, he got exactly. put into the fucking beat down fucking again just like the other kid where the molestation's happening dog it's like oh my god and so it's like you kind of you kind of feel for him right like honestly if he didn't kill that one girl on the bullshit i might have felt a little bit for him but he's kind of on some bullshit i i don't know i still obviously felt a little bit for a situation but i mean killing people is not the right way to go about that no um but dude yeah i definitely like a good villain always has a good like a emotional um aspect to them and their origin story yes and so fucking naya gets captured by by simon because he's toke or whatever toke toka toka <laughs> and they they have a final battle in a burning barn and it goes kind of hard like the whole yeah. final scene hess went clutch dude but hess oh, also dude. was dog Again. shit like, I got, again, this is another situation. Naya had, like, four chances to cap Simon's oh dumb God, ass. Oh, my God, dude. I know. Four shots. Every time she would point the gun at him, slap it away. Point the gun, slap <laughs> it away. Point the gun, slap it away. Just shoot the motherfucker and then handle it later, dude. Yeah. And then Hess shows up and does the same thing. Uh, dude, it's, yeah, they're very, uh, I don't know, they're very trigger scared, I guess. But lucky for us, Hess, cl- well, they aren't American cops. So that makes sense. Uh, that, that is true. Yeah, we don't. We only know what we see. We just pull and ask questions later. At least Hess clutched up though with you know the the saw breaking out, kicking the thing out, all that. He clutched, so he gets bonus points. You know, he earns his way back. Oh, they yeah. got they got his dumbass crash a car. Man's gotten pale. He looked like Jesus on the the cross. He was like, oh, oh my god. Of course, perfect timing. The sister calls and goes, you, and when they go. <laughs> We got your dumbass. She goes, no, <laughs> she hangs it up. It's my time to shine. And they go push her in, push her shit in, come in. The federales raid her while she's trying to go in her little ass garden. That shit was epic. God, dude. They, they oh said, my boom, God. got you. <laughs> <laughs> she, so she, is she dead? Bro, she really tried to, like, clean up the house as if, like, oh, clean know. fingerprints and shit. Bitch, yep. we know it's you. Don't play with us. <laughs> it's so stupid. They go in there, and this is actually super fucking touching, dude. They go in there looking for the girl, and they try to play it like she's dead. And I was like, she's "Oh, not. He's, yeah." No. I thought there was a good, there was a percent that she could be because I like the sister freaked out that Simon got caught or whatever, and she killed the kid. But I, I really didn't yeah. think so. And then no. the fucking daughter comes out, dude. And it's like that scene where they're just looking at each other and they sprint to him. I, I got a little, yeah. I got a little teary eyed, bro. That was, no, that was that was cute. That was, that cute. was some hard shit right there. <laughs> And that was like, I was like, man, this this is great. This is wrapping up perfect. This about as well as it can, you know? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you thought. And then uh, I was like, all I got to do is put Hess and Naya together because they're both broken souls, you know? Then they kind of tease a little bit. And then uh, yeah, Naya hands he- 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 my man Hess the fucking family tree. Her daughter added him to the family tree, even though they're not fucking. But they could be. Not yet. I mean, not Hess yet. did keep the crib, though, like, you know. He's got plans. He got ulterior motives. He kept the crib. Oh yeah, Always. yeah. And uh, I was like, "Good for me, man. That's that's it. That's yeah. it." 
And then that was cool. Then they said no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we're gonna need a second season, my man's. And I said, how can you call it the Chestnut Man when he's gone? The Chestnut Man. Chestnut Man's. <laughs> man's. <laughs> if they go to Britain, Chestnut Man's, eh? And so, the dude who got originally accused, he was clinically insane. Yeah. And is easily. a schizo. They said it. He's a schizo. Yeah, pedophile, whatever. Yeah. He was doing. Yeah. And oh, he gets off the dead bodies, so he's a he's whatever that is necrophilia. Necrophilia. Yeah. yeah. And so they release him, and I go, no, <laughs> dude. That, I know, but I saw him get released. I was like, God damn it, dude. And then they made serious? it seem like there's someone else who's the ringleader to this. Like there's I a know. big something bigger going on. I know. And I was like, it's like shout out, <laughs> shout out what? Shout out to them yeah. for trying to give us a second season. No, I don't. I, like I said in the beginning, I just didn't really need it. Like I felt like it wrapped up well for me and. Why I say I don't no, really I care about Schizo's character is just because, like, he was cool <clears throat> sitting in jail. Like, I didn't really need to know anything else, like, besides that he was in jail. Oh, I thought you um, said you didn't care about Hess. I was going to be... Oh, that's what you oh no, 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 I, no. Not, I wasn't talking about Hess. I was talking about Schizo, man. Oh, no, no uh, one cares no. about Schizo. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why I was kind of... Other than Hess should have beat like. his ass in that scene. Oh, I agree. No, I like Hess. Um, no, I just, I don't need to know more <laughs> about Schizo's character. Like, we're good there. Uh, right. So that's why I just don't necessarily need a second season. <laughs> you think we're gonna but... get this copycat killer type beat? Uh, I could, mm, I could see that. Yeah. Not a copycat, but I, I don't, think I don't what, know. what you had mentioned about, you know, ringleader. I think it's just a whole thing. There's probably this is happening somewhere else too. In Germany, they were going to Hess's home, home uh, police station, precinct. Yes, yes. sir. Hess is the ringleader. He's covering his tracks. Oh, that would be pretty nuts. That would suck it? ass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but it'd be nuts. That okay? Nuts for the sake of nuts is not good. No, <laughs> no. There has to be good writing behind the nuts. All right. Well, well the they're gonna put nuts. they're gonna put oh, their nuts God. on your chest yep, and say you're getting chest. this. Yeah. Hey, That's how it's gonna go. So yeah, man. Uh, Chestnut man was good. I'll say that. Definitely yeah. didn't think it was going to be at first, but it turned into some really good show, and I enjoyed it. I think it's a recommendation from me. But y'all not here for recommendations because people don't give a fuck about whether you recommend something or not. They want to hear the number. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, pretty much. Seven and a half. Hey, that's what I was going to give it. Fuck. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude, every week, I swear to God. <laughs> I got an eight. All around the same range. That's very solid. Yep. Very good scores. 